Hello everybody, Trixie541 here, back again with more Minecraft. Um, today is going to be the Nether episode. So I'm already basically ready to go. I'm actually not sure why I have a water bucket on me. But I've got my pickaxe, I've got a diamond sword which we looted from last time, and some armor which we also looted from last time. I'm bringing an old, a gold ingot because um, I know that... With the piglins, I believe if you throw gold at them, you are allowed to initiate trade. I'm also going to bring some wood and some iron just in case. Um, someone in my comment section of the last video told me that music would be nice. I did have Minecraft music turned on. However, <clears throat> that being said, Minecraft music, I'm not sure why, it cuts out every now and again. So what I did was I went to go to Google and I looked up some recommendations for how to get the Minecraft music playing constantly and the overall um, gist of what everyone was saying was to go on Spotify, um, look up the official Minecraft soundtrack and play that if you wanted Minecraft music playing all the time. So I've just got um, Minecraft music playing now which is sweet. I would have done like YouTube music or something, something YouTube friendly, but I'm not the best at figuring out exactly um, what music is considered oh, copyright free. So I'm just, I like the Minecraft soundtrack. I think it's very nice. It's relaxing. It's peaceful. So I've just got that playing in the background while we go about our business today. Um, the goals for this episode in the nether are going to be to find a warp biome because we're going to use warped wood for my base. And then also, I know last time we had found that soul sand or soul soil place. Again, there I go already lighting myself on fire. Um, I had found that soul soil place last time and I really want to collect as much soul soil as I can. Now... That being said, this, did I just hear a chicken? I, um, that being said, this is clearly not warped wood. This is the crimson version of that. I don't mind it, but, um, I like to build with either pink or blue. So we're going to keep looking for the the warped wood the blue one um also <laughs> i apologize i know some of you are probably cringing hardcore at the fact that i'm using a diamond pickaxe on um, another rack of all things but it is what it is we've gotten the obsidian we need for a portal so i'm not overly concerned um i do need to make sure that i save a little bit of it as we do want to make an enchantment table still um but other than that i'm not too too concerned i will say i am rather surprised we haven't come across a warped forest already if i'm being completely honest warp forests are supposed to be rather common um that being said again we did find this one but where's where's the blue one i want the blue forest <laughs> Uh, hopefully I have this scroll wheel stuff figured out soon as well. I have ordered a new computer mouse, so it's just a matter of waiting for it to come in. I've tried fixing the scroll wheel on my mouse a few times, um, but unfortunately it just will not work. It just seems to hyper-scroll all the time. Um, so yeah, I have a new mouse on the way, courtesy of... Jeff Bezos at Amazon. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm, as far as online shopping goes, I know Amazon shouldn't be overly supported, but it's easy. So that's usually what I end up using. Plus, I am able to find things there that I cannot find locally at my own store. Also, I'm going to be honest, I don't like leaving my house. Oh, oh, goodness. Why are you running around like a pansy? 
Do they not like the, the zombie ones? I don't understand. Oh, there's a child. Ro, you good? I, I don't understand. I don't know if they're scared of the zombie one. Or what? Oh! He's inspecting the gold, you guys. Am I gonna get anything in here? Oh, wow. Nether bricks. Lovely. Um, maybe I'll bring more gold next time. I've heard that on extremely rare occasions they can drop netherite. That's something that I'm not actually going to be mining for, um, in this playthrough. Or in most of my Minecraft playthroughs, if I'm being completely honest. While netherite is considered the strongest resource right now, I prefer the look of diamond a lot more. Um, and it's just too much of a hassle to mine for, if I'm being completely honest. I, I don't have the patience to mine for something like that. I'm gonna fall off this cliff if I'm not careful. I don't have the patience. I do not have the patience. Oh, well. That was short-lived, you guys. Alright. <laughs> Sorry. No pickles. I'm so excited to start building on the overworld. I just... Uh, I wish they would include nicer overworld trees. Like, there's a lot of mod packs that you can install that make good paint or give you new trees and stuff. I used to know how to play with mod packs back when it was like Forge, but now you have to use data packs and stuff. I'm not entirely sure how different it is, um, but I'm also not sure if I want to fill up my computer with all that. So I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I just, this is really annoying having to travel to the nether every time I want to build a base. I really want to use this warped wood. If I'm being quite honest, if we don't, oh, this is where I just was. If we don't find a warped forest by the end of this episode, I might just call it quits and try to use something on the overworld. Um, concrete is also an option, but... Concrete is also something that takes forever uh, to get enough of. If I jump from this height, will I die? No, we're good. All right. But yeah, concrete also takes forever. I just, I, I want some, some nice woods in Minecraft. And yes, like we've got all these natural textures, but like... Get some fun colors for the people who want fun colors and don't make them go to the nether. How about that? So, I don't know. We'll see if eventually they add something like that or if I ever figure out how to use mod packs um, or data packs, I should say. Who knows? Maybe I'll just end up putting on a resource pack that makes things look a little bit nicer. I don't usually play with resource packs, but... Um, I have no idea if this is where we just were. It doesn't, yeah, based on those guards, this is not what I thought it was. Um, I don't normally like playing with resource packs because I actually don't mind the vanilla Minecraft look. I really don't. Um, that being said, again, Vanilla Minecraft does not have a lot of building options for people who are lazy, I guess. People who are lazy and who like cute colors. <laughs> really? Get lost, bro. I'm trying to maneuver these trees. Oh my god, you're going to murder me. Go fall in the lava. I really do not like these 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 guys. Um, they're not. I think they're cute, but like, bruh. All right. Uh, I just want some warped wood. I just want some warped wood for crying out loud. Why you gotta go and make things so difficult? Oh my god. 
I want the soul sand. Ugh. This isn't going to be enough to get across. <sighs> I'm really surprised that we haven't come across one yet. I might just end up building my house out of birch. I like to use birch as an accent, but I want, here's the thing, here's the deal. I want to make my house, hear me out, out of stripped warp wood. I do not think good content includes resource mining for 50 bajillion episodes. So, I think once I die, if I'm being completely honest, I'm going to go in creative mode. Okay, hear me out. I'm going to go in creative mode. Alright, sorry about the random cut. Um, I don't know why, but Spotify just decided to stop playing and it minimized everything and closed my recording. Anyway, hear me out. I'm going to go in creative mode, right? I'm going to look at the different... Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to look at the different blocks that are available. Um, that are good to accent with birch. That are oh. semi-cute. And we just gonna use that. <laughs> we just gonna use that because I wanna have fun. Something about this playthrough that I told myself before I even started this was I want to have fun filming with you guys. This is exactly where I was. I wanna have fun filming with you guys. I wanna enjoy making these videos for you. And something that I really do like doing in Minecraft is just building and getting the community going as far as those villages that I like to do. So, running around for four to five episodes, maybe even more, just resource collecting is not a good time for me. I only have... I only have so much of a train of thought where I can just spew my feelings um, before my train just stops. So, I think that's it. We are going to see what complements Birch well on creative mode. And then I will go and collect the resources in um, survival as long as it's a surface resource. I'm really sorry. I really was looking forward to making a warped wood house. But I just, I can't. I really can't. I I can't. I can't be collecting resources for six or seven episodes just in the hopes that something will work. I I want something that's relatively easy to collect that we're all gonna have a good time doing, you know? You know, just just a good old time relaxing. Um, stone bricks might be nice. Prismarine. I think prismarine is from the ocean place, right? I think that's what that's from. Um. Oh, come on, scroll wheel. I'm not really sure where to get terracotta from. I think it's in those orange biomes, again, if I'm not mistaken. Concrete's really nice, but it's something that takes forever. And that looks like it. So we've got a few different blocks here. Orange. Crimson. Excuse me. Rude, stone, and terracotta. I swear to God. First thing I'm doing once we get the house intact is capturing one of these sheep. We will have a Jeb in this playthrough. 
honestly, none of these necessarily look bad. I like the look of the terracotta. This is not good. The mangrove is orange. Okay, so you know how I said I didn't want to do the nether. <laughs> this is crimson. Yeah, okay. Guess where we're going. We're going back to the nether, you guys. <laughs> oh my god, I hate myself sometimes. I literally hate myself sometimes. <sighs> Turns out crimson wood isn't the worst thing in the world. We can go collect crimson wood. <laughs> oh my lord, I... <sighs> Remember that five-year-old brain that comes out every now and again? This isn't necessarily five-year-old brain decisions. This is five-year-old brain processes. I don't like the color of this wood. It ain't pretty enough. Oh. Well. Seize the color of wood again. Mmm. You know what? This ain't half bad. And you know what? I shouldn't be too, too embarrassed by that. I have the right to change my decision. <laughs> Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Well, you know, we gonna keep going. We gonna find that forest again. I think it was actually behind here. So it'd probably make more sense for me to fall down here. Oh, yes, yeah, so there it is. Alright, let's collect some crimson wood. <laughs> Get this taken care of. And then we can actually start building my base, you guys. Wow. What did it take us? Four episodes. Four episodes of me running around and talking at you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, I don't know what pets you all like to- oh my god, this mouse. I don't know what pets you guys like to have in Minecraft. I really like a little bit of everything, if I'm being completely honest. Um, in this playthrough, I want a wolf, and I'm going to name him Ronan, because I think that's a very pretty name for a dog. I am also going to get a sheep, like I had mentioned, and once I find a name tag, I would like to name the sheep Jeb because I like rainbow pulse and sheep. Not everybody does, but I do. I like rainbow pulse and sheep. So we are going to see if that still works and we are going to get a Jeb sheep. Um, I would also like to get a parrot. What color yet? I don't know. I really like the Excuse me. I really like the standard red rainbow, honestly, so I might just try to find the red rainbow one and get me a parrot, and I will be naming it Fruit Loops, because I like Fruit Loops. <laughs> um, I also am going to get a small army of cats. Normally, I do not like keeping an army of any animal in Minecraft, but we are in a plains biome. Plains biomes are what I deem to be the most prevalent for creeper attacks. I heard a sizzle. Did I just lose that piece of wood to the lava? How dare I? This is a lot of lava in the middle of a forest. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have a small army of cats just because I like cats. I really do. I don't like having armies of animals, but cats are the only creeper repellent in game. And I'm sorry, after all the trouble we've been through for this base, I am not about to have it blown up by some creeper. That being said, I am planning on, like I said, making a village. So the villagers should also help with getting cats. Because, um, I'm not sure exactly how the spawning system for cats works. But I know that the spawning system for iron golems is basically if there's a lot of mobs near the village. When the villagers talk at community hour... Um, they will deem the village not safe enough, and they will actually, uh, trigger the bell to spawn iron golems. Um, usually, again, the more a player hangs out near a village, the more dangerous the village is- the more danger- in danger the village is deemed. 
so the more iron golems will spawn. I know that on the other playthrough that I was talking about last episode with me and my friends, um, we ended up getting them to spawn six iron golems. So, yeah, they, uh, the villagers do not like us. Not a very prosperous village, but a very well-protected village. Um, that being said, I still got creepers at my house because the village is not spawning cats. So, I don't know how the spawning system works for cats, but I'm hoping that the village that I create here for you guys will end up spawning cats. Um, I guess if any of you guys know how the spawning system works for cats, let me know because if I don't hear it in the comments, I might actually end up looking it up through our dear friend Google again because I am genuinely curious and I want to make sure that our base is protected and that our village is protected. Also, um, you guys might be asking how I'm going to get a village going if I don't have any villagers nearby. I could technically go and- wow, this tree is tall. I could technically go and steal some from the original village that we were at, but that also takes a lot of time and effort. So what I plan on doing is once I get like a few different- I'm not about to leave floating trees in the nether. Finally! Ugh! Once I get um, a decent amount of resources in my possession, I am planning on throwing out quite a few of them in the creative menu in exchange for two villager eggs. It's something that uh, me and my friends do. I understand that a lot of you guys might find that very cheaty. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I'm a very casual Minecraft player, you know, I want to have fun. That's the whole point of this playthrough was to have fun with you guys and just have a good relaxing time. So I will be at some point cheating for two villager eggs um, at the cost of some resources. I know in the past for me in my playthroughs that has usually been um, two or three diamonds. So that is probably what I'm going to be doing again. Um, if you guys would like, I can totally throw out more resources than that. It's just a matter of me getting those resources first. Feel free to pick, like, if you guys want, you can pick what resources I throw away, and I'll just go about getting them in an episode. We'll have, like, a finally getting the villagers episode, or, um, journey to get villagers, and it'll just be me resource mining, um, for the resources that you guys suggest. And then once we eventually obtain those resources, I will get the two eggs and we will get that going. But it is up to you guys. If you guys don't really have much of an opinion on the matter, I'm just going to go diamond hunting and probably throw out uh, three or so diamonds. That way, um, there won't be too many fusses, you know? I like the boat method, don't get me wrong, I think it's hilarious, but I don't have the patience for it. Um, what was this conversation originally supposed to be? I was talking about pets, right? Yeah, so, I'm talking about pets. I would like to get a sheep, a parrot, a wolf. I would also die for a frog in Minecraft. Like, oh my god. The new frogs are definitely not the design that I necessarily wanted. And I, excuse me, I think a lot of people actually talked about that at the beginning. They really didn't like the design of the frogs. They thought they could have been a lot cuter. Um, all right, Jesus, sorry about that cut again. Oh my goodness, just talking and all of a sudden my screen recording app closed itself. We're having a lot of fun recording this episode today. My computer is trying to tell me to stop it, so I don't know if I'm talking about the wrong things, but damn. Um, wow. 
Oh my god, give me a second, I did not realize Spotify had ads. My computer really just be saying no. Good god, uh... Music. There. If I figure out how to add music to YouTube videos from a safe YouTube playlist, we'll do that next time. But like, jeez. I am sorry about that ad on Spotify. I do not pay for Spotify because I don't believe in paying for things like that. So I guess there's ads on music playlists. <laughs> Can you tell I do not use Spotify? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, sorry about the lack of music in the rest of the video. Minecraft music is turned on, it will decide when it wants to kick in. When I upload this video, I will look to see if I can add music directly from YouTube Editor in the future. But this is what we're working with. This episode has been a hot mess and it is going to be a load of garbage to edit. <laughs> Good lord. Alright, I think I'm gonna film, hopefully for like another 10 minutes without any interruptions. And then we're just gonna get her done. If I get interrupted again, I think the next clip of me you guys are going to see is just my end card and I am going to try to figure out why my computer hates me. <laughs> um, so anyway, frogs do not have the cute design in this new update. But you know, that's I, because we love them anyway. They, they stupid, they look bad, but we love them anyway. I want to get a frog in this playthrough. I would love to get a cold climate frog. So what I'm planning on doing, because I hate going on cold climate areas in Minecraft. Shush. What? You want to fight? You? They actually want to fight. I didn't realize this was- Oh. I, I, I. You know, I'm going out my own- There go by my own accord. Oh my god, this has been an absolute mess of a recording. <sighs> Alright, for my sanity, I, I'm not gonna go back to the nether right now. We have three and a half stacks of this crimson wood. And you know what we're gonna do? With that three and a half stacks, we're gonna start building our base. <laughs> we're, we're gonna start building our base. So ideally, everything would be on the same level. I think I'm just gonna build this side of the wall up and we're just gonna have a little dugout here. I might fill it with dirt and flower pots once we get to the decorating stage of the playthrough. But for now, it is what it is. Oh my god. <sighs> this sheep really just- Oh my lord. I- 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 Sorry for losing my composure. This video really did not want to happen today. I don't know if it's aware of the situation. But, uh, it really do just not want to do this today. I want to do this today because it's almost Friday. I don't film on the weekends. So, I want to get this taken care of. I might post another video tomorrow. I might not. We'll see how I'm feeling. This has been an absolute nightmare of, <laughs> of a recording. We just gonna spend the last little bit of it. Happy fun times. Finally getting some progress on the base. Because I don't feel like dealing with the nether anymore. Just some quiet block noises. The Mr. Sheeps. 
Oh, and the kind gentleman over there that decided to join us Lord knows when. Lovely. I haven't put a fence up around the portal yet. Right. I have another chest over here. Is there a fence in here? Nope. There's plenty of sticks, though. I... My recording software is in the way of these pages. So we're just gonna have to make fence the old-fashioned way. Oh my god, you know... That's alright. We relaxing. We back in my favorite place, the overworld, and and we just we we gonna fence this in. We gonna fence this in so that, let's be honest, I don't get hurt later because the villagers are probably gonna be more competent than me. Look, you wanna go back home? Go back home. Don't watch me build a fence! Oh my god. Ugh. At least the house is starting to look nice. Alright. 54. Better be enough. There. No. How do I build a fence gate? It's, it's this way, right? Yeah. There we go. Fence gate. Ah, oh, fence gate. Close up the portal and get her done. And it is not even, but there we go. Did the pigman just despawn? Maybe he actually listened to me and went home while I was crafting more fences. I. Wow, you know, Minecraft really do be testing me today. You know what? That's how we're finishing off the episode. There is a village all the way on the other side. I haven't even placed the bell, so I'm not sure why these guys are here. But this is how we do today. My spawn point is right there. So if I die, I'm coming right back. We doing this right now. One, two, three, I, that, that's where we're leaving it. I can't take much more of this, you guys. <laughs> that's where we're finishing the episode. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me on this roller coaster of an episode today. This absolute roller coaster of an episode today. Um, goodness, you guys have yourselves a lovely, lovely rest of your days. If I don't end up filming tomorrow, I wish you guys the best of weekends. This is Trixie541 signing off. <laughs>